All right, today, guys, I'm gonna be teaching you some tips about traveling to Michigan. So, let's roll that intro. Dev the Michigander here, and I'm going to be teaching you guys some tips about when to travel to Michigan and what's a good time to travel to Michigan and just Michigan travel all together. Tips for that. So let's get into this. So you guys have found, so you guys have decided to take a trip to Michigan. I recommend Hell Michigan if you ever want to go there. That's a day trip thing if you're ever in the area. But my first tip for you guys is to plan ahead. Uh, do your research look at areas that you want to visit um, pick a certain city you want to visit because I gotta tell you that um, if you do some research before you actually pick when you pick your city when you pick your city and you do research around it you can actually find other things to do that are in a driving distance away like within an hour or hour and a half away from your destination so you can have a longer and more satisfying vacation and do more things when you're at Michigan all you can do is explore Michigan is a great state to explore we got a lot of um, state parks you can go visit we got a lot of national parks you can go visit we got the sleeping bear dunes and near that guess what it is Traverse City. Traverse City is a great place to go downtown and grab a bite to eat. So go to Sleeping Bear Dunes, do Traverse City. You can all do that within a day. All right, guys. So on the Michigan map here, I'm going to show you what I mean by when you plan your trip to do your research. You can go get a Michigan map. You can buy them offline if you're going to travel to Michigan. But um, so Traverse City is right here. All right. So this is what we did. We went, we Googled Traverse City and we looked at areas around Traverse City to see what we could do within days of staying there because we stayed there for about a week. Um, right here is going to be the Sleeping Bear Dunes, the national park for the Sleeping Bear Dunes. Now that's an amazing place to visit if you guys ever get the chance to visit. Um, and then over here, this is amazing, right over here is Torch Lake. Right here is Torch Lake. That's a pretty awesome place to go swimming. It's an amazing beach. Like you can actually walk up to like knee high waters for a very long distance and just have a blast over there and on also Trevor City right here um, uh, there's a bunch of cherry farms and wineries down this way and all through here there's so much to do around there you just gotta search you guys just gotta google and search and just do your research before you ever and I recommend that with any place you go to like when we went to Tennessee we researched places to visit we researched Kate's Cove we researched a bunch of like moonshine places to visit um, and we did our research so we could have the best time ever and plan our days ahead of time so that was tip number one and um, if you guys are enjoying this so far please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I do make videos daily like this all the time so Let's get into tip number two. So tip number two, guys, is going to be plan your expenses. Not plan your trip. Plan your expenses. So plan your expenses. So that is kind of like planning your trip, I should say. But um, you're going to take a notebook and you're going to write down places you actually do want to go to. So when you book that hotel room, you can start booking places that you want to visit. Like we went on a, when we went to Traverse City, we went on a, um, a uh, tour of the Grand Travers, uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's a grand, big building that used to be like an asylum place, and you can go on a tour there, so that's, we booked that in advance before we even went on this trip, so that's why, like, you get a notebook and you write down all the places and you figure out where you want to go and then you plan your expenses ahead of time so you guys don't run out of money or don't have to worry about oh we can't go there because we ran out of money here if you plan your expenses ahead of time you will have a, a good trip so you can um, go to all the places you want to go to and you plan to go to and another good thing about planning your expenses I just hit myself in the head another thing about planning your expenses is um, you can um, identify how much money you're gonna actually need to go through the trip and then you can plan to add more money to that just so you have a backup money just in case things don't go the way you're planning like figure out how many miles are on your car 
like how many how many miles your car gets to the gallon and you can figure out how long it's going to be when you drive if you drive or if you rent a car so you know how much gas you're going to need to go to your places how far away the places are so you can plan ahead because if you just go on vacation randomly unless you have like a buttload of money you're going to be like freaking out because sometimes you you'll like want to go this place and then that place used up so much money you can't go to this place and you gotta figure out how do you get home with the with your gas so just plan your expenses ahead of time now on to tip number three and this last and final tip tip number three is gonna be more for the people that have never been to Michigan before never visited the northern part never seen snow never had to drive in snow never had to experience snow whatsoever um, maybe you just dealt with the cold, but never dealt with snow. So what I'm trying to say is, if you've never experienced snow, do not come. Your first time, do not come during snowfall. If you really want to see snow that bad, um, go to a place that doesn't get as much snow as Michigan. Because if you're not used to driving in the snow, you're going to have a hard time in Michigan. Because these roads get pretty icy and pretty nasty pretty fast. And when it's snowing really, really bad, half the time plow trucks are not on the road because usually they have to wait for the snow to fall. So what? Because what's the point in plowing the roads if there more snow is just gonna get on? And most Michiganders, like myself, we know how to kind of drive in the snow. So like we know how to go slow when we need to go slow. We know when it's safe to speed up. We just know. Um, and most of the time when if you live in like a sunny place where it's sunny all the time you won't have the right tires for the snow because if you don't have the right tires for the snow it's gonna be kind of it's gonna be a little more challenging for you to drive around and possibly you might get stuck so if you don't want to take that risk um, I, just, I just think you guys should either come like the fall time um, spring or summer and if you guys do want to take the challenge of coming out during the winter time, if you want to take that challenge and take the driving challenge, all I can say is prepare. Like, even if you're coming during the summer, prepare. Bring hoodies, bring warmer clothes. Don't just bring summer wear if you come in the summer, because sometimes Michigan's weather changes like that. Like, like yesterday, it was snowing, nonstop snowing. Today, it was raining. It warmed up just enough for it to rain so what I'm trying to say is um, bring like an assortment of clothes like raincoats winter coat not winter coat you don't need to bring winter coats if you're coming in the summertime but bring a hoodie because if you're from the southern part of the states and you're used to warm weather all the time Michigan gets pretty cold uh, summer nights like they're cool like we might Michiganers might be like oh we can wear a t-shirt and this ain't no big deal but I know my cousin from Florida they were freezing they were like it's freezing out so if you're from a southern state um, I'm, not, I'm not bashing on you I want to live in a southern state because Michigan weather sucks but um, if you guys are coming from there just prepare for any type of weather um, especially if you're coming in the snow prepare for any type of weather that's all I can say for you guys is just prepare. I think that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope these tips helped you if you're not a Michigander and if you've never seen snow. Um, I hope this helped you um, plan your trip to Michigan, if you plan on coming to Michigan, because Michigan is a beautiful state to visit, beautiful state to explore. There's a lot of hiking, um, especially up in the Northern Peninsula. There's nothing but woods up there, waterfalls up there. Yes, Michigan has waterfalls, fresh water waterfalls. I might add because we have no oceans around us and if you want to see the world's largest like one of the world's largest bodies of fresh water Michigan is the place to go so if you guys do want to visit here I encourage you to visit Michigan because we're all friendly here if you guys want to come to Michigan come to Michigan we love to have you you can try some of our delicacies around here you can try some of our cherry pies from Traverse City if you plan to visit there just come here and enjoy family time and have a fun vacation. Don't worry about nothing that's happening in your world that's negative. Just come have fun. And with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really makes me feel good when you guys do that. And to remember to subscribe because I do post daily now. So I'll be posting a video kind of like this every day. Sometimes it'll be an Avenger video. 
uh, showing a place around Michigan. I do plan on going to Frank and Muth for the day sometime this week and having some fun. So with that being said, guys, if you can right now, get your foot out the door because adventure awaits. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.